guys happy Monday I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend as you guys can tell I'm recording this a little bit early because we do have some family events going on so I wanted to go ahead and do my makeup basket Monday with you guys so the products I tried last week I felt like I had some really really good ones so let's talk about them the first one I want to talk about is the Urban Decay Distortion Palette. So this palette right here does look like this. The outer packaging does. And then on the back of the packaging, it looks like this. So the packaging itself, like the outer shell casing, whatever you want to call it, is pretty nice. But the inside is spectacular. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That just, oh my gosh, that just is so, so pretty. I love this palette. I think it's really, really nice. Now, when you open up the inside, it does come with a very large mirror that will hold up itself, so you don't have to worry about it like falling down and smashing your fingers or anything. You are getting 15 different eyeshadows in here. The first whole layer, which is the top layer here, are like the top coats. These are more like the shade shifters, so these are the ones that you're going to apply over top of these other two right here that are in this two rows. So you're going to apply these over top of that to help to shift the shades. I did do several looks using this palette and I felt like this is an excellent, excellent palette. I'm hoping that I can get that video up for you guys this week as well because I have four looks using this palette so I wanted to go ahead and edit that and get that up for you guys. There's not a whole lot of talking to it. It's basically just me showing you how I did the eyeshadows just to show you how the colors look on the eyes because I know swatches, a lot of people are getting kind of tired of the swatches. I've heard like Raw Beauty Christy, she's not really liking doing swatches anymore because she feels like they're not actually representative of what you're getting in the packaging, what you're getting in the product. Because for example, like she did not like the subculture palette and she swatched it and it swatched beautifully and then on the eyes she thought it was total not so good. So I don't know if the putting it on the eyes might be more helpful by doing it that way. So I did do four looks using this palette besides the look that I did on this past Thursday's Get Ready With Me. So all in all, I did five looks using this palette. So I feel like I've got a really good feel for whether or not it's a good one or not. I feel like for the value of it, I feel like it is a little pricey, but I feel like it is a very unique palette. If you're looking for something that's super unique, nothing like you have in your collection, this is it. If you're looking for something that's everyday wear friendly, I don't think this is it. I think you're going to have to combine this if you are someone, you don't have to combine it. I shouldn't say it like that because you can do makeup however you want to. If you want to use these shades and you don't want to use a neutral palette to go with it, go for it. Rock it because guess what? There are no rules to makeup. The only rule is does it make you happy? If it makes you happy, do it. So, but I did use the Naked Basics. I used the one and two with this this week and I really love this palette. I feel like it's a really nice one. I think, like I said, it's a very unique palette. The colors in here feel very different than most of the, the uh, Urban Decay products that I've tried before. So I feel like this is a different formulation than what they've normally had. I feel like the colors are absolutely spectacular. These little top shades right here are absolutely amazing. I love how they look when you add them to another shadow. I've been asked to see how they look over top of a shadow that is not Urban Decay. So what I'm going to do right now, or it is not this palette actually. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys in this video how it's going to work because today I'm actually wearing the palette that I'm going to be using this coming week, which is another Urban Decay palette, but it's not this palette. So I'll go ahead and show you guys which palette I'm going to be using. It is the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette. So this is the new one they've come out with. So I do have that on my eyes today. So this is what I'm using right now. So I'm going to show you guys if you put a shade shifter over top of the shadow like this, if it will still work. So let's figure out which one we want to use. I think we'll use bleach, which is the shade over here. We'll use bleach over top of the colors that I have on my eyes today. So the colors I have on today are like the more burgundy and orangey shades. So let's go ahead and just take a little bit of this onto my finger here. These shades up here are super soft and buttery. So there's what it looks like on my finger. So I'm going to tap that onto, I need a mirror. <laughs> let's get a mirror. We don't need coffee. We need a mirror. So let's pull this over. <clears throat> so I'm going to apply that to my lid here to see what it does because I, to be honest with you, I didn't even try it like that yet. So I want to see myself if it actually works. So I tapped some on, got a ton on my finger here, and now I'm going to actually just keep doing that all over the rest of it. And it definitely did do something. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it totally did something to my, eyel my eyelashes, my eyeshadow look. I feel like it looks even more beautiful now than what it did. So again, I feel like these are is uh, this is an amazing palette. I feel like this is so unique, so different than what we've seen in the beauty community for a long time. I'm happy to have something completely different in my collection. I am super happy to have this in my beauty my makeup collection that I have myself. I think this is an excellent one. If you're looking for a very unique palette, 
Highly recommend it. If you're looking for something that's more everyday wear friendly, I'm not sure this is going to be it for you. Again, I feel like it is a little pricey, but if you have the Ulta 20% off coupon and you have not used that yet, this is something I would recommend using it on. Really, really good. The next thing is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Marc Jacobs Snake Charmer. I love these. These are so nice. I feel like I am really getting into like the more lip glossy type of looks because I feel like that just looks nice on my lips. It looks very young and refreshed and it makes your lips look pump, plump, not pump. Makes your lips look plumper. I honestly love every shade in this little set right here. I feel like this is another really cool set. This is in the sales section at Sephora. I'm pretty sure it should still be there if you're interested in picking it up. They have it like, I don't know, it's like 10 or $15 off of the normal sale price of it. So I would definitely consider picking it up if you're looking for a good lip gloss that's not sticky, that seems to have a little bit of color payoff on your lips. The purple had a lot of color payoff. That one was crazy how much color payoff was in that one. So I really do recommend these. These are very, very nice. Happy to have this in my collection as well. The next thing is the Marc Jacobs. This is the, what is this called? The Genius Gel Foundation. And this is in the shade 32 Beige Light. So here's the foundation I was using this week. I love this foundation. This is something else that right now is in the sales section at Sephora. Highly recommend it. If you have dry skin, your skin's going to love it. The only thing that I don't like about it, there is one thing I don't like, is right here in my forehead lines. I feel like my forehead lines seem to be very accentuated with this. And that's because those are the deepest lines that I have on my head. Those are my hot dog lines. So those are my deepest ones that I have on my face. And I feel like it really kind of... It's not really that it settles, it's almost like that it separates from that area and it really defines that out a little bit. So all I need to do though to fix that is just take like one of those little, people use them for like if you have oily skin, but it's those little sheets. I take one of those and just tap that over it and it seems to really help that. So that's the only problem I had with this at all with this foundation. Around my eyes it looks great, on my skin it looks great, it's got a really good coverage. Highly recommend this, especially since it's in the sales section. Check it out. The next thing is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Undercover Invisible Primer. I've used quite a bit of this already. I don't know if you can see it or not. The bottle's getting pretty empty. I love this. This is a coconut type of primer. It's very hydrating, so it's a lotion-y texture. So if you're looking for a nice hydrating primer, this is a really good one. But there are lots of others that you can find that are similar to this. Like the Too Faced Hangover RX is very similar. The Kat Von D her primer is very similar to this. So those are two of the higher end ones. I need to find some more drug, drugstore ones that are similar to this because I think that would be important to try to find something that's more at a, uh, not a reasonable rate, but a more, I have no idea, a more better price. That's what I'm going to say because I feel like these are expensive. Like this is expensive itself because it's Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs, anything from Marc Jacobs is, is pricey. Now let's move on to the, what else did we use this week that was kind of newer? Because I think you guys probably already know that I love these. These are really nice, especially using these with the palette that I was using this week. This is the Naked Basics 2. And then let me open the Naked Basics 1. So here's the Naked Basics 1 and flip it. 2. So there they are. They look very similar, but they're just really helpful in keeping and helping create looks when you have a palette that's kind of unique like that Urban Decay one. So I really do like these. If you have a basic palette though, you can use any basic palette that you already enjoy. So you don't have to get these. These are not something that's super spectacular, but they do blend real well and they're pretty buttery and I really do enjoy the way they look on my eyes. The next thing is the Balm Pinstripe uh, Blush. I love this blush. This blush is so pretty. Let me show you. Oops, I just stuck my finger in it. I love this blush. I love the way it looks on my cheeks. It's such a perfect fall blush. There's what it looks like. Do you see how pretty that is? It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I think this is a perfect fall winter shade. If you're looking for a fall winter shade, definitely check this out. Be benefit. The balm usually has like half off sales once a year or some or twice a year it might be. They have them pretty, not fairly often. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. But they do have sales to get them half off. And not only that, the balm is on Hot Look. So I would recommend waiting till you can get it at a discount. Just because I'm not saying that it's not worth paying full price for, but why pay full price when you can get it on sale? So really do like that blush, though. It's really, really pretty. The last thing, is that it? So all the new things I tried this week? <clears throat> I did try this this week, but I'll be honest with you, I wasn't super impressed. This is the by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. So this is just a little bitty one, and this was like 12 bucks, I think, on Derm Store. This little bitty thing was $12, and I was like, whoa, that's expensive for a little bitty thing like that. 
but I don't really know if I like it or not. I put it on under my eyes and I think it's because it's a loose powder. I don't like loose powders. So I put this on under my eyes and I feel like it just doesn't really help any better than what my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores does. My It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores is spectacular for under my eyes. It works really well for dry skin. So I love that. This just was just okay. Wasn't super impressed. The other thing is the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Lift in a Tube. Okay, so first of all, the corrector side on here is nice and creamy and very nice to blend out. Let me show you a swatch of it. So here is the corrector. Is that the corrector? I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the concealer. Oh my gosh. So yeah, the concealer corrector. This one's nice and creamy and easy to blend out. It's not like the one that you get from the, the one that's in the tube, that it cosmetics one. And then the illuminator one is super, super creamy. It's way more creamy than the, the corrector. So this one just glides on. I don't know if you can tell the difference as I'm sliding it, but it just glides onto your skin. I don't know that it does a great job with highlighting though, to be honest with you, because I feel like it's so thin, it kind of just blends out. So I think you'd be almost better off just to, get, just to get a corrector because I don't know that that highlighter actually does super good at highlighting. So I think you'd be better off just to get a good concealer. Um, and I think that it's it that was in that little basket here, um, besides the MAC brow pencil, but I've already talked about this before. It's a really good one. I don't know that this color is the best for me, but it works and I'll make it work until I finish it up. So probably something I would not purchase again though. All right. So let's move on to next, next week's palette or next week's basket. Let me pull it up here. So I do have everything sitting in another little basket here. So I'll show you a little sneak peek. So there's everything in the basket that I'm going to be playing with this week. Some of these things are brushes. Some of these things I've already tried. For example, the eyeshadow. Most of the makeup I've already tried. Like today, I used it as I was getting ready. So the first thing I'm going to be using again is my Vera Mona. This is the arm switch. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before or not, but it does have these little laces on the side. And all you do with it is you take and you slide this onto your arm. Let me show you. You slide this onto your... Do I have it backwards? Probably. Let me take my watch off quick. So you slide this onto your arm. Yeah, I have it backwards. So there's the other thing. Make sure you put it on the right way. So the thicker side goes to the bottom or goes on first. So you put this onto your arm and then you could just do your color switching from here. This is not super practical for someone who just does your own makeup, but if you are a makeup artist, this thing is super cool. It even has a slot to hold your brushes down into. So I think this is a really cool artist tool. So if you're a makeup artist and you're thinking about getting something like this, it is a very nice tool. I've had it for a while and just decided to pull it back out and just kind of utilize it because I'm like, it's been sitting there just collecting dust. So of course you guys saw the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be playing with this week. It is the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette. I really am enjoying this palette. I think it's very, very nice so far. This is my first look I've done with it though, so I can't give you a complete full blown um, review on it. But it does come in that type of packaging. Again, it's like the cardboard packaging and then it kind of closes down onto itself. So there's the packaging, what it looks like. And then it does have a little mirror inside of here, but it doesn't really hold up on itself. It just kind of plops over. So you are getting these shades in here though. I really like these shades. I think these are very nice for Urban Decay. It's a very nice, easy, small palette. This would be perfect to just use on the daily because there's it's not a whole lot to where you're gonna feel overwhelmed. It's something that is just enough where you can create a multitude of looks, but you're not gonna feel overwhelmed and you're not gonna be sitting there for a long time just trying to figure out which colors you wanna use out of a bigger palette. So, so far as far as size and the way that my eye look turned out today, I think it's really nice. It did come with a mascara. It came with the Troublemaker. Is that the Troublemaker? Yeah, the Troublemaker mascara. So I did use that on my eyelashes today. And I've got to be honest, I didn't hate it today. Last time when I had like the smaller sample, this is like a, the deluxe size sample, I didn't really like it. I don't still care for the smell of it. It smells really bad. But it's up near my eyes, so it's not like it's near my nose. It's not on my lips or anything. So it's once it goes on, you don't really smell it. So it's one of those things like if you don't really like the smell of it, it's not going to last very long, so don't worry. Okay, the next thing is the foundation I'm going to be using this week. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I wanted to use something like this because my skin is clearing back up again. Thank goodness all the stuff, that my skincare regimen that I've been doing recently, like I told you guys, is very, very helpful. It does help my skin to heal. So I want to use this because it's just a light tinted type of thing. And this would be super easy because I know this week is going to be kind of hectic for me. So I think this will be a perfect one just to kind of throw on. And then my skin is looking at least a little bit better than it was. So that's a really nice one. It's kind of like the no makeup makeup type of look. And then I'm going to be using the Becca. This is the Becca 
Apres, I'm sure I'm saying this wrong, Apres Ski Glow Face Palette. So this is the little highlighting palette. I do have the eyeshadow palette as well, but I think I'll wait and use that a little bit later. I really wanted to try this out though because I haven't tried too many of these type of products. So I was excited to try these out to be honest with you. So far I've tried this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. Wait, I've tried this one too. I haven't tried this one yet. So pretty much I've tried them all except for this one so far. And honestly, I'm really enjoying it. Today I went ahead and when I did my look, I put a little bit of this darker pink color on, onto my cheeks directly on top of my blush. It looks really nice like that. And then as far as highlight goes, I mixed this and this for highlight. This one I've used as inner corner and this one I've mixed these two together, used as highlight, and they look really, really nice. So, so far, so good. The next thing is the one of Oprah's favorite things for the year. I saw Emily Noel do it and I was like, I've seen those brushes before. And I started looking through my collection and guess what? I have the brushes. So I have the Oh Wow brush by Kaylin. So this is the Oh Wow, what is this one called? Just the Oh Wow brush? I have no idea. I guess it's just called the Oh Wow brush. So this one is the one that's like a oval brush. It's a lot smaller than what you're used to seeing though. Look how tiny this one is. This one's really small. I have tried this one out already. It works pretty good. I don't know that this is my favorite oval brush that I've ever tried, but it works pretty good so far. So I wanted to kind of demo these with you guys this week. And that were there, you can see if Oprah's favorite things are actually worth picking up. And then the other one I tried out is the O Curve brush. So this is another one that's from that collection and it looks like this when you pull it out. This is the one I used to put my foundation on with today. It does come with a little handy dandy little protector thing so you can travel with it. It's pretty dirty because like I said I did put my foundation on with it. But it's curved. I don't know if you can tell it or not but it's got a really deep curve to it. And it just fits all of your lines really really well. So far I love this one over the other one. This one is really really cool in my... What the heck? It just popped right back out. I don't think I put that in right. Okay. See it slides right in there like that and then it won't pop out. It's going to hold on to it and keep it protected so if you're going to travel with it. So those are the two brushes I'm going to be trying out. Those are, like I said, on the Oprah's favorite things for the year. So, And Emily Noel did a rundown of all the things that she's tried from that line. She actually purchased some things to try from Oprah's favorite things just to see if they were actually any good. So I'm going to try the brushes. Of course, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics by My Pores for my face because this is my favorite. This is my holy grail. You guys know I love that product so, so much. The next thing is my primer I'm going to be using. Actually, this is not really a primer, but I'm going to kind of use it as a primer. This is the Cover FX Clear Cover Clear Cover Invisible Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Okay, so so far I already have a bone to pick with this product because I tried this today to put it on under my makeup. It looks really nice under my makeup. But the problem is <clears throat> I couldn't get it to pump. I pumped, I know, for 10 minutes straight and nothing ever came out. Not one drop. Nothing came out of it. So then I had to actually take the top off, which you're probably not supposed to do that, especially since it's a sunscreen. But I took, it's not going to, okay. So I took the top off and I was able to actually get the product out like that. I used a little spatula and just dipped some out. But it looks like there's no brush in there. Is it like an airless pump? I have no idea, but there's no brush. There's no, not, not brush, but no pump. I'm like, what in the world? So I don't know if that's why it's not pumping. I have no idea. But so far, not loving that because the pump does not work. And why pay this much money for a product when you won't even pump? That's very depressing so far about that. The next thing I'm going to be using is the, this is the, um, who is this? Christina Ann Cosmetics. This is her eyebrow pomade and this is in the shade taupe. I use this today in my brows and it reminds me a lot of the, it, not cosmetics, but the Benefit, the Cubrow. Is it Cubrow? I'm pretty sure it's Cubrow. It's the one that comes in like the little, the, I'll have to compare it with you guys and I'll show you guys. But here's what it looks like. So there's the color of it. It's a very nice neutral color. So... I think it looks good in my brows. I think it worked out really well. It's not super thick and moist, not moisturizing, but um, gloopy like the Anastasia one. So I really think that one might work well for me. And then as far as hi highlighters go, as far as concealers go, I have two to choose from this week. Just in case this one doesn't super impress me, I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. So this one is really, really nice. I know I like this one so far. But the only thing is, if you're keep wanting to keep that illumination look under your eyes, it's not going to keep if you actually set your under eyes with a powder. So I'll show you guys this week how that one works. Then the other one is the one that I saw Nikki Murphy recommend. This is called the Same 
Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. So this is the one I'm actually wearing today under my eyes. And so far, honestly, it's really nice. The only thing I noticed is this eye right here looks a little bit creasy. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll get close as I can. This one looks a little bit creasier than this one. And I don't know if it's this or if I just put too much powder under this eye. I'm not sure exactly what's causing that. But this is a pretty nice coverage. And this was like, I don't know, like $4 or something like that on Amazon. So I'm excited to try it out a little bit more and see if it works for me. I think it's a little bit drier than the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. That one's a little bit more hydrating. This one's a little bit drier so far, so that's just something to take note of. As far as blush, I'm going to be using my blush palette that my friend Lashes Tony XO sent me. This is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush, and this is in the shade 230. So you, did, you, get, you do get four different blushes in here, and today I'm wearing these two mixed together right there. I'm wearing the, those two mixed. And I think it looked really good, especially with this more orangey, reddish colored eye. So they turned out really good mixed together. So I'm excited to play with that a little bit more and see if it works out for me and whether how the longevity is to it as well. Then I do have some lipsticks to use this week. I have three lipsticks and these are all... Wait a minute, I'm missing one. I lost one. Okay, so as soon as I find that one, I will throw it back in. I thought this was one right here, but it's an empty box. So these are all by Christina and Cosmetics. The one that I'm wearing today is this one right here and it's called Swag. I do have unicorn tears popped over top because you guys know I love my unicorn tears. This one I have not opened yet and this was in Slay. So let's go ahead and open Slay. I'll swatch these two for you so you can see what they look like so far. So Christina Ann Cosmetics, if you're not familiar, is like an indie brand of makeup on YouTube. I mean not YouTube, on the, on the internet, on, on the social media, on the, oh my gosh, on the unit. On the internet, you can find Chrysanna and Cosmetics. I used Nikki Murphy's code. I think it was like Nikki 20 or something like that. And I was able to get all of the products that I picked up recently from Chrysanna Ann, which was the brow pomade and three lip products at half off. So I thought, you know, that's a good time to try more things. I do have her eyeshadow palette and I have some singles and I have one lipstick product. So now I have three more lipstick products, which I need to find one and the eyebrow product. So this one is Slay. Slay is very, very pretty. It's a very deep tone so there's what it looks like swatched these are very staining i can tell you that so far once you put these on your lips and you try to rub them off your lips are staying pretty good so if you don't like the way that a lip product feels on your lips leave it on for a little bit wipe it off your lips are good and stained and just throw a little lip balm on top this one is the shade swag this is the one like i said i'm wearing today at first when i put this on i was like that reminds me of something that i've seen before it reminded me of Kat Von D's, the Lolita one. I'll show you. <clears throat> is it Lolita? Yeah, Lolita too. It reminded me of the Lolita. Like the colors in the tubes look very similar. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. They look very similar in the tube, I think. But then when you swatch them, they're not quite as similar. So I, I went ahead and, oops, I, almost got, I did get it all over my sleeve. Good job, Tiff. Oh man, I just rubbed it all up my arm. Oh my goodness. Wow, like a bull in a china shop. Okay, so here they are swatched. So this is the Kat Von D one, and that is the Chrysanna Ann one. So they do look a little bit different, but they're kind of comparable. So if you're looking for the Kat Von D Lolita one, I think this one could almost pass as that, especially if you uh, are trying to just rub it down a little bit, like if you want to put it on and then rub off the most of the color payoff, because that's what I did with this. And then I just topped it with unicorn tears, and that's how I got this look today. And I feel like it looks a lot like Lolita too does on my lips. Okay, the last product that I'm going to be using this week is the Milani Keep It Clean Longwear Lip Color Remover because there's lots of colors in here that are very, very dark and I have four of them so I want to do a lip swatch video of all the products that are all the colors that I have from her. So I thought this would be great to help to get these off since they are super long lasting on my lips. So this would be great to just to remove them off and then I think it might be cool to use in a swatch video. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a swatch video of the Chrysanna and lip products that I've gotten from her so far. All right, other than that, that is everything I'm gonna be using this week. I'd love to know if you guys are doing the Makeup Basket Monday along with me and what products you're testing out this week. And oh my gosh, look at my hand. I thought I burned it for a second. I looked down and it was super red. I'm like, what in the world? It scared me. It's that makeup, it stains. Like I said, it's very, very staining, so. I'm probably going to have to use that lipstick remover to get that off my hand. But anyway, let me know if you're doing like a makeup basket with me. If you're like rotating through your makeup and picking out new products to try out. I'd love to know what you, you were playing with this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.